guys, this is Lita from Sipnotech. Earlier this year, Google announced at their annual I.O. conference that AR walking directions will be a new added feature in Google Maps. This is currently still being rolled out and only available for the Pixel 3a and older Pixel phones. We had the opportunity to put it to the test in the very condensed city of Tokyo. After walking 10 plus miles a day with it, here are my thoughts. to our hotel and it's pretty cool once you put your phone up it actually does like arrows and messages on screen um, that tell you which way to go and then on the bottom you have the Google Maps version that's telling you where to turn giving you a better estimate of which way to go so let's keep walking once you put your phone down you can see that the navigational directions become like the original walking directions. What's nice about this though is that you get a larger view of the map and can better orient yourself to directions and things nearby. An important thing to note is that it helps if you have a strong GPS signal, just like in regular maps. If you ever wanna go back to AR, you can select the small pin button on the bottom left, right above the X button. Once you raise your phone again, the AR overlay is able to match your surroundings through the camera that match to a street view and can give you on-screen directions. So occasionally it does have these points where it makes you hold your phone back up and then um, the AR basically recalibrates itself so that it can make sure that you're going the right way. As you can see here, they even have safety messages telling you to keep your phone down while you walk. This is a feature that works as just a reminder to not stare at your phone the whole time and to be aware of what's going on around you too. If you end up orienting yourself in a different direction, there will be a blue arrow on screen telling you to turn and continue in the appropriate direction. There have been some instances where the overlay found it more difficult to recognize certain places and took longer to calibrate, but I really feel that Google will only continue to improve and it'll be faster and more accurate with time. Honestly, AR walking directions was such a game changer for us in Tokyo because there are so many different side streets and alleys that could have been much more confusing to miss. I consider myself directionally challenged and was able to get around really easy with the help of AR maps. However, considering this is such a new feature, I still think there's room for Google to improve and build upon the overlay. For example, if you're going to be using any additional forms of transportation, like the Metro, AR won't be enabled if you're navigating in any modes other than walking. There are many instances I would have loved for Google to turn on the AR walking direction overlay when I left the metro station or before I arrived at one. Nevertheless, I was so excited to test out Google Maps AR and am really excited to see where it goes next. If you own a Google Pixel and you're traveling or living in a city where walking is your primary form of transportation, I'd highly recommend checking out AR. If you have already checked out Maps AR, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, this is Lita from Sipnotech, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. And that's it. Be sure to subscribe here. Hit the bell button so you don't miss any of our videos. And check out our other videos right here. Until next time.